so Sandy J, um, what are we looking at here on, on this uh, sheet? What is this sheet here? Um, basically, this is a spreadsheet for Sound Exchange, um, and there's also a spreadsheet for Music Report at the same time too. Okay. But um, this spreadsheet just acts as, as you can see, I'm doing it for Bobby, and he has about sixty song, well, sixty. 66 songs on here. Yeah, you just did 60 songs for me. Yeah. Because I'm too lazy to do this type of tedious work. <laughs> I ain't gonna even lie. And you do it right. I mean, you make sure I don't I don't lose any, any money at all, right? Well, there's a lot of artists that don't even do sound exchange or music reports, so they are leaving money on the table. Wow. You must do it right in right. order to get paid. So you, you, you've been saying that um, sound exchange pays money um, on top of the money, the distribution companies pay, like CD Baby and um, these guys, Pandora? Okay, the thing that independent artists don't know mm -hmm. is the fact that a lot of people distribute their music and they think that the money that they get from the distribution company is it. Right. It doesn't end there. That's what I thought. Mm, it doesn't end there. Um, you need to register with Sound Exchange and you need to register with Music Report and your distributor, as well as if you're registered with ASCAP or BMI, you need a music association. Mm. All four of these um, companies work together and they all collect monies for you. Like next month, Music Report may collect money that BMI or ASCAP didn't collect. And then Sound Exchange will collect stuff that... Um, um, music report wouldn't get and that could be like whether your music is in a sitcom elevator music mm -hmm. so on and so forth and sometimes they even collect royalties that your distribution company left on the table as well as your music association left on the table wow. and this is why it's necessary well I learned it from my friend Jason at music report but um, it's very necessary that an independent artist covers all four of these grounds here so mm. you need to join a music association and that is and that's either bmi or ascap and then the secret to that is once you join it you must register your music in the back of those mm, i gotcha I a lot gotcha. of people join but then they don't register their music in the back which is bad yeah. which is bad you're leaving money on the table gotcha <laughs> So, in gotcha. all cases, if you're an independent artist out there and you don't know the first step or don't know what to do, you can actually call us at B-Dub Entertainment. Now, this number is not for them to call and pick your brain. This is for you to do it for them, to actually, help them. This, is, your, this, actually, is, what you, this yes. is what you do for a living. I provide artist services, and my artist services include um, copyright if you need it. Um, but it's licensing. This is considered licensing and royalties. Yes. So I do this portion of it and I work with the companies very yeah. closely. Yeah. And if if you've already done your sound exchange or your music report, but you feel like you haven't done it correctly, yeah. you can pay me and I can actually do it right for you. And you're not and expensive. No, I'm not expensive, but you can pay me and I can do it right for you. And I will even get on the phone and talk to your yeah. music rep. Yeah, well, I got to thank you personally because because <laughs> of you, um, I've, I got money from uh, being in a sitcom in the UK, which I had no idea had money over there, had no idea they'd been using my song. But because yeah. you did this for me, um, and I've been doing music for over 20 some years. So and the I, reason why they probably found your music is because with all of these spreadsheets, mm -hmm. It's not only important for just the song name, but you need to have a ISRC code yes. and they track the song through that. But also if you're talking about music report and sound exchange, they track your music with a ISWC ah. and that is a code that is used for worldwide. Wow. So if your music is out on the UK and it's out there, mm -hmm. that ISWC is what they're tracking to get you your points. And that's wow. how you got your money for the wow. sitcom. Wow. I appreciate it. So now you're doing these spreadsheets and you also do music report spreadsheets as well, which is yes. totally different from these. Um, yeah. Um, they all are pretty much um, totally different. Totally right? different. Yes. And that's what makes it time consuming and tedious. And when you're, when you're a music maker like myself, I don't want to get into it this. Looks I really don't want to. It looks something this. like this. It's similar, but um, 
So this is the music report one. Sound exchange. See, and this is where These are my songs, I have to guys. add his ISWC here. But this is how they track everything. They're gotcha. asking you for your association. This is my new album I've been doing for the quarantine. I've been... I've been uh, I had a whole lot of time on my hands, so I've been recording like crazy. This is my new album just dropped on uh, Spotify, mm. everywhere, Pandora, and it's called A Real Gentleman. Just plugging myself, baby. I'm sorry. I know this is your video. <laughs> <laughs> it was all good. But I appreciate you. It's all good. Yeah, man. So artists, um, you know, where, where can they, um, how can they reach you? Um, they can reach me on our business line, and that's um, 863 six 803 right. See y'all then. Call us. All right. Bye-bye.